Hey Libra, hope you guys are all doing really great. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2022. And it is general and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra. And because it's general, it means that it's not going to be for everybody's situation. And it also means that the roles can be reversed even if you are cross-watching. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, Libra, let's see what is going on with you and another person. Second half of September 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear that background noise. It's like music. Um, from outside. I feel like <laughs> people in my neighborhood are always having parties. There's always some kind of a party going on, especially on the weekends. All right, Libra, let's see. For the situation, we have the Page of Wands crossed by the Four of Cups. All right, so there's something here that I feel like you or another person is feeling a drive towards or feeling some kind of a motivation to take some kind of action, but there's a but. But then it's like there's a lack of motivation and a lack of that drive, almost like a depression that sets in which keeps somebody from actually doing something here. And I don't know what that is. Let's see. For the recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like recently there's something that has shifted. Either in you, maybe in the other person, but I feel like it's either in you or just in the connection. But I feel like it's stemming from you, actually. Let's see. Almost like feeling like, okay, you know, something needs to change here. And so just by having had that thought, like, things actually start to change. And maybe that's just in your energy. Um, or the way that you approach this, or the way that you view something in this connection. Um, for you, we have the page, sorry, the Queen of Pentacles and the Death card. I feel like this is actually the first time I'm seeing the Death card this time around in the Zodiacs. So that's Scorpio's energy. Um, and yeah, definitely feels like there's a change here. There's a major transformation. For some of you, this could even be some kind of an ending which is taking place because you're feeling like you're finding yourself or that you're, you're deciding to really take care and nurture your own self, finding some kind of self-worth here. Let's see for the other person here. We have the Knight of Swords and the Four of Swords. All right, so this is someone who, I don't know, their energy feels like it, like at extremes, um, like they can go from being very restless and very energy driven to being the exact opposite. And I do feel like that's what's happening here, um, but at the same time, there's some movement also towards this person healing something. We'll see. Everything just feels so like it's it up in the air until we clarify. So let's see for the near future. We have the Ace of Wands and a message for you here is the Empress. All right. So yeah, that Ace of Wands, I'm happy to see that because it's kind of reminding me also of that Page of Wands, like that motivation, like really kicking in, that drive, that action, rather than the depression. So I feel like the motivation is winning, which is good. Um, it definitely could even be um, a reconnecting with somebody, either with this person or even with somebody else for some of you. But regardless of that, the message for you here is to, you know, really be that empress, which I feel like you're already beginning that or you've already begun that with this Queen of Pentacles here. And like spirit is just really reinforcing that, like really encouraging you to, yes, you know, remember what you are worth. Remember your integrity. Remember who you are. And not only that, know that you are capable of creating whatever it is that you want to create you know, whether that relates to this other person or not. 
So, let's clarify, Libra. Let's get into this. Let's see that Page of Wands with the Four of Cups. Oh, we have Death showing up again. Okay, so Scorpio times two. And then we have the Sun, okay, Leo and the King of Wands. Wow, really powerful energies here. Yeah, so here's here's what I'm getting with this. It's like, I feel like you're moving towards some kind of a major transition, some kind, possibly even an ending, okay? I do get that it has to do with this person. I feel like you're trying to maybe exit or make a huge, huge change. Now, here's the thing. Something has already changed. Something has already shifted, but that doesn't mean that that transition is complete just yet but that's what you're moving towards all right um you're moving towards that and what happens is you know on the one hand you know you 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 feel that motivation you're like okay you know i can do this and you're moving towards that and then it's like okay no like things just feel really hard and heavy and like you just don't have what it takes in order to go through with this with whatever that is now the message here that i'm getting is that Whatever this transition is, it can only bring happiness. It can only bring happiness. And not only that, you have what it takes. You have what it takes to achieve that. All right. Um, let's see the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what is it that has shifted here in the recent past. Ooh, the Tower and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it could be that there was like some kind of major triggering event or things just felt like, all right, you know what? They're past that, the point of return. Um, and because of that, I feel like you have detached. You, you have emotionally detached or you have already begun detaching okay even if that's not complete you have begun detaching from this because it's oh whatever whatever it is i feel like it was it was big it was a big event here or if it wasn't just like one big event it could have been like a lot of little things that added up to that but it's like i i feel like the shift happened kind of suddenly like you just suddenly shifted All right, let's see the Queen of Pentacles. Judgment and the Queen of Cups. Wow, you're getting some major energies here. Um, this feels like, you know, you just had this revelation of your own self, some kind of... Um, it could be a spiritual awakening, like feeling like, wow, okay, like I'm seeing myself from different eyes or I'm seeing myself in a new way that I hadn't seen myself before. And this is coming into me as like self-love. And yeah, it definitely could also be that you have love for this person, but I'm seeing this as more of being, this revelation was about self-love. So let's see death. The chariot, okay, so cancer energy and strength, Leo. Wow, so many major con cards. There was one more sign that got like a crazy amount of, or maybe not crazy, but like a, a big amount of major arcana cards. I can't remember which one it was though, and you are the second one, but I think you're actually getting more. So this is really, these are big, big energy. So I feel like this transition, whatever it is, it's very significant. Regardless of what ends up happening with this person, you know, this for some of you, this could even be just temporary, but you need to, you know, transition out of the situation for now. And for others of you, it could definitely be um, something more permanent, okay? It's really going to depend. This ending here, it, I see, I see you moving in that direction. I see you moving in that direction. I see you... Um, really finding that determinism, that willpower, that drive. It's not easy though, okay, because we have the strength card, which is telling me that it does require some strength, but Spirit is saying here, you totally got this. 
you totally got this. And it might feel like you don't know where you're going. It might feel like you don't even really know exactly what you're doing. But you got this. <laughs> and like I said before, you know, it can only um, move you towards happiness. And towards being this empress. All right, Libra. You're showing a lot of strength here. So we do have Leo actually showing up at least two times, if not three times. So wouldn't be surprised if some of you are dealing with a Leo or if you have strong Leo in your charts. Okay, so let's see this other person here. Let's see the Knight of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay, so yeah, Gemini. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or maybe just any air sign actually. Um, this person is definitely thinking a lot about you and I do feel like, you know, this person, it's like they're taking action towards you because they want this connection. They still, they still want this with you. I feel like you're moving away from them, but I see them actually acknowledging it's like they're acknowledging the fact that you are finding the self-love within your own self the fact that you are taking care of yourself you are nurturing yourself and this might actually even make them want you more um i don't know if that even phases you at this point let's see the four of swords The Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Yeah, so even though, I mean, this person, it's like they go back and forth between like trying to approach you or trying to um, attain you, so to speak. They go back and forth between that and then trying to just let it rest. But I feel like the it's it's almost like they let it rest more of like not because they don't want you, but they let it rest because they feel like maybe that's the way that they can attain you. And I feel like this actually, you know, creates conflict within the, their own self. Like this is not this is not peaceful actually with the five of wands being here. I see it more of this like resting when they're in that mode. It's more of like okay, um, it's more like a plan. It's more like an effort to try to have you in some way, or maybe they feel like okay, maybe you know um, Libra here just needs some space. And when they are in that mode, it actually creates a lot of turmoil within them. Now, through this, like I said, I do feel like there's something that they're feeling. But I, I, I don't feel like they're at... It's like you're not on the same wavelength, though. Like, you're, you're having, like, major, major um, energies here for your own self. You're having major revelations. You're having, like... a spiritual awakening or like some kind of a spiritual upgrade where you are just moving up to the next level. They are too, but I they're just on a different wavelength than you. It's like, you know, their, their progress feels smaller to me than yours. At the moment, at least. Let's see that Ace of Wands in the near future. The Queen of Swords and the High Priestess. You're there's something there's something new here for you, and I don't know if it's with this person. Um, the I don't see necessarily this. Um, this person being out of your life unless you want them to be out of your life, okay? This is just what's happening now. Um, things can always shift. But for now, I see you 
moving towards something new, a new way of being, and you're just totally following your own intuition and really standing very, very strong in your power. I mean, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Empress. So, yeah, I feel like you're being very, very determined here, and you're, kind of, you're really standing your ground. It's like you're not accepting any bullshit. You're not going to just give in easily to anything that is less than what you deem that you deserve. So if this person does come back, or if, if you know, this um, the person really tries to, you know, make things work with you, I feel like you're... You're not going to give in unless they're actually, you know, meeting you at your wavelength. And maybe they will. Maybe they will at some point. I just don't see it just right now, just yet. Okay, so like I said, they are healing, but just not where you are. Um, let's see the Empress for the message for you. And we have the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so you're being encouraged here to keep standing your ground, basically. Because by you doing that, by you standing your ground, and by you setting these boundaries that you've been setting, that's leading you to this completion, to some kind of um, beautiful fulfillment of commitment of some sort, whether it be with this person in the future or whether it be with somebody else. I feel like it's just basically leading you to a lot of abundance, both within and without, on all levels. So, Libra, I feel like you've been through a lot here. You've been through a lot and there's a lot happening for you but it's all leading you to a very, very happy place. Okay, so let's see the final oracle message for you. And we have message in a bottle. So to me, this is always like, like representing good news. So I feel like there is something here that you haven't discovered yet. It's like a message coming in, possibly from spirit, possibly from your own self maybe even from this person or somebody else, but there is something really, really positive that is coming in, okay, number one. Number two, I feel like you have gotten some major, major message from the universe. Take it, take that message, and I feel like you are. So that is it, Libra. I thank you so much for watching, and much love.